Hej och välkommen till uh, intervju med Synakt Pharma. Uh, vi ska då ha en liten uh, introduktion av uh, sällskapet. Har med mig uh, Jeppe Øvlesen, CEO. Hej Jeppe, välkommen. Tack. Och uh, Thomas Jonasen, CSO i Synakt Pharma. Uh, de här er danska då så vi kommer till att ta intervju på uh, på engelsk. Jeg uh, kan bare nevne at uh, Signal Pharma är er et uh, biotech-selskap, cirka 100 millioner uh, svenske kroner i uh, market cap, og listet på Spotlight i uh, Stockholm. Uh, så jeg håper alle sammen får, uh, får en god idé vad selskapet handler om uh, her. Da. And uh, Jeppe, maybe uh, we can start with you, and then uh, Thomas, you can chip in. Uh, what uh, can you tell us about the Synac Pharma and uh, and what you what you do? Well, we are a small uh, biotech company founded in 2013, and uh, in 2016 we decided to go on a listing uh, at the Spotlight, and have had a relatively good journey uh, being a public listed company. Uh, we're based in Lund, and uh, we work uh, in the field of melacortin receptors. It's actually an area that we have worked in for, for many, many years because we have created three companies uh, together uh, in the same field. So we have been working basically together since 2000. Um, then uh, we are in a situation now where we have uh, spent 2017 and, and 18 uh, on developing uh, our lead project mm. uh, during phase one and are now uh, moving into exciting times uh into into phase two yeah super um and then uh, thomas th- then maybe you can uh, continue because you had some good news in uh, february uh, 2019 uh where you uh, achieved some positive results on uh, on uh, phase one of your uh, of your product uh which is called uh, the fancy name ap 1189 <laughs> yeah. uh can you tell us more about the results y- yes um when you make a drug development, um, you um, before you go into patient study, where you are going to show the uh, the effects of the mm. compound and 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 uh, and the potential, uh, you have to be sure that the safety profile and tolerability, and as well as the exposure of the compound in 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 the in the patients uh, or in 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 humans mm. are uh, as it should be, um, and. So um, that is basically phase one studies. Mm. Phase one studies is studies in, in healthy volunteers where you dose up to a, a, a as high as possible, uh, typically uh, several times higher dosing that should be used in the, uh, in the patients. And you do that in single dosing as well as in repeated dosing, repeated mm. dosing typically up to two weeks. Mm. Um, and what we uh, completed in December was dosing in this repeated dosing in, in phase one. And... Um, our conclusion is that we have a very, very nice uh, exposure of the compound. We have a plasma profile, as it's called, that uh, give us uh, uh, um, that actually what we would like to have, mm. that we can give the compound once, once daily. Mm. Uh, and um, from a safety point of view, uh, the doses that we would like to bring forward was uh, well tolerated mm. and safe. And um, and then we, were of course, also went higher and we went up to, I think it was, it's approximately five times higher mm. uh, in exposure than is needed to induce our effects. And uh, it was well tolerated as well mm. uh, from a clinical point of view. And uh, then we, uh, as also reported, we uh, had one uh, finding on a temporal change in, in one parameter of, of liver function, which is quite normal when you go high in dosing. Mm. So um, you could say that uh, when we then uh, compare back to the animal models and, 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 and uh, what we have used to secure the safety profile, previous year in development it it looks very very good mm. and then uh, Thomas um, your product is uh, is trying to uh, to aid people with uh, certain inflammatory uh, uh, diseases uh, can you explain a little bit uh, exactly what the product uh, is yeah yeah uh, AP 1199 which is a code of course at, at this time point of development is, uh, is is a compound that stimulates melanocortin receptors and uh, which is present in the in in the immune system, mm. um, it in reduces the inflammatory responses and also clear up an existing uh, inflammation, and um, what we together called uh, resolution therapy, which 
is like a new uh, approach for inflammatory diseases. And inflammatory diseases, in this case, uh, uh, could, as our lead indication, is, uh, is active joint diseases as rheumatoid arthritis and what you see in psoriatic arthritis, which is uh, diseases that, is, uh, that gives um, impaired life of, uh, quality pain, uh, in reduced uh, mobility and, and so on, on on the joints. Um, where we believe that our compound can be positioned as a, a new approach to, um, to um, for the benefit of, of the patients. Mm. Um, in addition to the uh, to the inflammatory classical inflammatory uh, autoimmune uh, diseases, as you, uh, as our leading indication, we have uh, also generated, or we uh, last year we uh, um, announced that we had um, interesting positive results in a in a model of nephrotic syndrome which is a, a kidney disease where you have an extensive loss of, of protein from, from, from the blood and um, where you have uh, quite an uh, uh, unmet uh, medical need. Mm. Uh, approximately one third of all patients do not to suffer uh, for an in inappropriate treatment and where we believe that we, in addition to, um, to uh, our lead project, uh, where we now bring into patients uh, in rheumatoid arthritis, could make uh, a development in, in nephrotic syndrome as well. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, uh, Sunact has a, a very strong uh, management with uh, with a lot of uh, experience uh, in the biotech industry. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about their background and uh, what they have done? Yeah, well, we have been in the industry for, for, for a long time, uh, all of us. And uh, Torbjorn Bjerke, our, our chairman, and, and Thomas and I, we have been working together since 2000 mm -hmm. and actually created three companies already. Uh, the first one was Action Pharma, where the lead project was sold to Abbey in a 110 million US dollar cash mm -hmm. deal. Uh, and the next one was a company called TXP Pharma, that uh, where we sold the, the lead project there to, uh, to Questcore Pharmaceuticals mm -hmm. in the US. So we know each other well and have been in the industry, as, uh, as I said, for a long time. Mm. Uh, we also have uh, an experienced uh, CFO, uh, Henrik Stage. Uh, Henrik, he was uh, the CEO of a company called Santais Pharma that was acquired by Roche uh, back in 2012 mm. uh, for, for a substantial amount of money. So we believe that uh, we have uh, what it takes uh, to bring these compounds through the clinic uh, and uh, most importantly, uh, up on hopefully uh, positive data in, in, in the phase two, mm. be able to complete a deal. Because it is important to understand that uh, we are uh, a small biotech company. We can take part of the journey. Uh, we have done the phase one. We are now doing the phase two. Uh, but we are not a company that should uh, head on and, and, and do a phase three, for example. Mm. We need a partner after, uh, after phase two. Mm. And we believe <coughs> that uh, with the track record we have, uh, we will be able to, to find such a partner. Mm -hmm. Super. And also know just about Tulbjörn uh, Bjerke in particular, we also had him in him for an interview here not too long ago. So yeah. I definitely know he's a, he's a very competent uh, guy. Yeah. Um, just, uh, yeah, you touched upon the future here. Uh, I don't know, Thomas, anything more to tell about the, uh, the future of the company? Yeah, I think it's important to say that, that, that we are now, after I have completed phase one, mm. we are now ready to go into patients. Mm. And, and that means that we can set up and, and conduct our first clinical trial mm. in patient. And that would be in, in, uh, in uh, rheumatoid arthritis patient mm. with active disease. Uh, then they're referred to hospital mm. and then to start up metotrexate treatment, which is standard treatment. And we uh, then will have add-on on our compound. Um, and, um, and it's a classical placebo-controlled mm. uh, double-blind study. We uh, expect to uh, run the first part of the study this year uh, and then continue with the second part of, a stu of the study with a total of 90 patients mm. uh, that we can report in the second half of 2020. Mm -hmm. Super. Uh, great. I think we got a super good uh, introduction to the to the company now. And uh, I hope all the people also have felt that they have got a lot of answers to their questions. If there is something more, it's just to send it in to us in the Nordnet. Uh, Synac Pharma can handle it, as I said, on Spotlight in uh, Stockholm. Uh, so I hope we'll see you later. Have a good day.